The Graduate Certificate in Dairy Heritage Health was a direct response to a rapidly changing agricultural industry and in particular uh, the dairy industry in Ireland, an expanding dairy industry with increasing herd size, which offers unique challenges to vets. We wanted to upskill our colleagues in practice to allow them to be able to address the challenges that this particular expansion uh, offers. One of the most important things that we did at, at the outset in association with Animal Health Ireland was we conducted a Delphi study, which is an expert opinion study. Uh, and the purpose of it was to identify the really important animal health themes for dairy cows in Ireland. So that was done by the UCD group. It was published in a peer-reviewed scientific journal called Preventive Veterinary Medicine. And the six modules of the, the certificate map to those disease themes. So the students, the vets on the course could see that this was really important, that these issues had been prioritised by industry. The big advantage of the online delivery really has to do with the way these cattle vets work in practice. So these are busy people. They haven't the time to come and sit in lecture theatres in Dublin. And so clearly the online delivery allows us to, to get round that. There were challenges for the staff because it was new. None of us had really been involved in e-learning to any significant degree before, so we had to upskill. So key to that was actually that we had a, a member of our team, Diane Cashman, who was our IT and educational um, specialist. So she acted as a dynamo and um, encouraged us all along. So you, you actually need a team effort. The Graduate Certificate in Dairy Heritage Health is a part-time distance education programme that runs for 18 months. The programme is made up of six core modules, each worth five ECTS credits. It was designed and delivered through UCD's virtual learning environment, Blackboard. Each module is divided into several units, which are released to students on a week-by-week -week basis. Each unit contains detailed course notes that students must work through from start to finish. Units contain learning resources such as e-lectures, which can be viewed at any time. To support students' mobile learning, course resources can be downloaded in the format of PDF documents, podcasts and vodcasts. These resources can be viewed on iPads, iPhones, iTouches or similar Android devices. In each unit, students engage in a discussion board activity. Students are given a clearly defined task and are asked to post their response to the discussion forum. The tutor throughout the unit would review the online discussion forum and would also contribute their own thoughts by posting a message to the forum. A good example of this really would be our use of podcast. So we deliver e-lectures, we deliver videos uh, electronically, we deliver audio clips electronically. One day per module, actually, we do bring them together as a group uh, to our UCD campus just to meet and maybe have a practical session on the farm, for instance. That's good because they get to know each other then as, as people as well. One of the vets on the course um, was telling me that a particular thing that, that, that she liked was that when she would be on a call or you know, going from farm to farm in her car, she would have downloaded the, the um, podcast on her smartphone and could listen to the lecture in her car. But also she was saying that I can stop the lecture, I can rewind it, I can listen to it again. And if I'm not sure about something, I can send an email to Michael Doherty or whoever it may be seeking clarification. So in a very simple way, that's an example of how it can suit these vets in their busy schedules. One of the very simple ideas that worked um, in a very powerful way with the online discussion group and the online community had to do with a, 
a piece of work that we give the group uh, dealing with nutritional problems in dairy cows. They were asked to review a particular um, control of a disease called uh, milk fever. And they were asked to review the literature on it and look at the most recent uh, publications in Journal of Dairy Science, for instance. But what they didn't know was um, the coordinator for that module, um, Dr. Finbar Mulligan, had primed the author of these papers, who's the international leader in the field of this uh, particular science, uh, doc Dr. Jesse Goff from the United States. So the, what happened was they had had discussions about how best to prevent this disease and their own experiences. And, and then at the very end, Jesse Goff came online and said, you know, hi, it's Jesse Goff here and, you know, making some nice, saying some nice things about the, the discussion and the level of it. And uh, that made a huge, huge impact because he was the guy who re had written the papers. And you can see how that would make an impression on, on the actual vets who were students on the course. F for the students themselves, the busy vets, there was the, the challenge of IT and familiarity with things perhaps that we take for granted in the academic environment using Blackboard. We have a, note, we have a kick off day and we have a day where we, we do a, an introduction to all of this and library searches when they're in the vet school. So that's really, really important. But we also, we also talk to them before they join up and we, we monitor their skills. We, we only bring in people who have basic IT skills and most of them do now. So that, I think that initially was one of the things and access to broadband. You know, you take it for granted, but in some of the more remote parts of Ireland, it's intermittent. So these, these little challenges were there too, but we've overcome them and things are working well. Well, the feedback we've received from the vets on the course has been very, very positive. And I suppose one way to illustrate that was one of the vets stood up at the start of the second cycle. He said that on the basis of having done the grad, grad certificate, that he initiated 70 heart health um, preventive medicine programs on 70 client farms in his own practice, which was a very powerful thing to say. And that was typical of them. What they said was that it changed the way they did things on a daily basis. They found it very practical. They found it very relevant. And importantly, one of the most important things they said was that it gave them confidence. And I think that's one of the most important deliverables was the confidence that they received in an area that they felt somewhat vulnerable in. And for me, that really would be one of the most important um, messages that we received, that they got confidence. I suppose one of the most encouraging things is that the, the online community has continued after the grad cert ended. And that's, that's very, very encouraging. And of course, that's the whole beauty of the online experience. So these people communicate by email and they exchange ideas on a regular basis and they meet socially as well. And they invite us to some of their, their events, which is just wonderful. So I think that illustrates the power of the whole online learning environment and the fact that it can be sustained uh, in a way that's quite simple. Yeah.